Have you ever set up an aquarium one night, happy, going to sleep with a smile on your face, thinking about how majestic those fish are going to look tomorrow morning when you wake up for your morning coffee and bagel, only to find them dead or slowly dying off days after the fact? Well, that's what we're going to be talking about. I got a subscriber with an issue, and we're going to be going over what her issue is and what are the possible things that um, occurred that she can fix so that this won't happen ever again. <laughs> Yo, what is up? How you doing? This Aqua Funk, and I have a very special, special video out there for Miss Mary Mar. First of all, Mary Mar, cool name, Eminem. I'm liking it. It kind of flows. Mary Mar. Who are you? Oh, I'm Mary Mar. Miss Mary Mar. Mrs. Mary Mar. Diva Mary Mar. I don't know how you go, but I like the name. So Mary Mar left a comment on um, a video that I made. Bigger is better. Um, and this is what she wrote. This is this is why Aqua Funk, the channel, exists right here. This right here to help out people like Miss Mary Mar or Mrs. Mary Mar or Diva Mary Mar. It says, hi, I'm new on this. Never had a tank before. Can someone that knows explain to me what happened? Yes, I can. I had a bait on a, in a small fish bowl with no filter and I bought a 10 gallon fish tank for him with a filter. Congratulations and kudos to you for looking out for your fish and going bigger and better. I put new water um, in a new tank, added Tetra Safe products to the tap water to make the water safe following the instructions that came with the aquarium kit. Okay, so you went bigger. Good for you. Uh, you got a 10 gallon aquarium kit. Great. Um, a beta would be, you know, loving life in a um, 10 gallon aquarium kit. You followed the instructions. It told you to put Aqua Safe, uh, Tetra. Aqua safe in the water. What that does, obviously, um, you read the instructions. So, but in case people don't know, uh, that stuff removes chlorine, chloramine, um, and heavy metals and toxins. This is necessary for your brand new aquarium because the water that comes out your taps poisonous fish, kill them instantly. So you need to put some type, unless you're getting some type of purified well water. Even in some cases, they need it. At any rate, at the beginning level, you put the um, tetra safe in there, and uh, that makes it safe for fish. So you did good on that. Um, bring them put the bait in the water. He looked fine. I thought he got acclimized, but the next day when I woke up, I find him dead. There was like an oily substance, which I don't know if it was from the beta in the I don't know if it was from the beta in the top of the tank, and my beta was at the bottom. His body was white. All right, so basically. The 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 gram I don't know grams a little different I don't know um, the English situation but I get the gist. So she set up the tank. She believes she acclimated the um, beta properly. Um, at that point, when you're talking about acclimating a fish, really all you're doing is getting the temperature about the same so they don't go into a, a shop. There's a lot more into acclimating fish than just temperature acclimating. But to be honest with you, that's the without getting too crazy with it and doing a drip over a month period. Um, temperature acclimating usually is fine. So I, that's all I do. I, I've never done a, a drip acclimation over the month period, you know, acclimating for pH and all that stuff. So what Mar Mary did, was I saying Maria? What Mary did is basically she probably, I assume she put the, the fish in a container of some sort um, and floated it in the new aquarium water to get the temperature correct. Then what you need to do is you need to go ahead and take the container with the fish out, reach in there with your hand or with a net and put the fish into the tank after about 15, 20 minutes when the temperature has been equalized so he doesn't go into the temperature shop. Now, good, all right. So, I mean, that's just the way it's done. Uh, what happened? All right, the, the thing, that, the thing that, sh that stands out, that really stands out right now is that oily substance at the top of the water. This is a brand new aquarium. More than likely, that oily substance, the only time I've seen an oily substance, I've never seen a fish die. Um, and I've seen fish die and be left in a container for uh, quite a while. And there is a film on it, but not oily after 24 hours. Um, I think I think you, 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 you might have had something, some contaminant in your aquarium. I don't know if the aquarium kit mentioned that you had to rinse everything out thoroughly with tap water, um, tap water only. But sometimes, when these things are being shipped, they might be shipped next to something that is more toxic, could have broke, could have spilled on there. You never know. You don't know the people who's putting these things together, what they do. You don't know their life. 
They might be working on a motorcycle, coming there with greasy hands, putting your, your stuff together. I, you don't know. You don't know. That's the thing. So that's why you want to rent stuff out thoroughly. Um, that's the only place I think this oily film could have came from. Now you probably thinking, well, you put the um, Tetra Aquasafe in. Yes, the top, the Tetra Aquasafe does work against um, certain stuff. But when it is a, a residue like that that sticks, there ain't nothing really you can do about it except for rinse it out by hand. The, um, the chemical is not going to penetrate it. And, and make it clean, especially if it's leaving an oily film. The second thing that might have happened, and this is a big possibility also, and it's 50-50 on either one, honest to God, there's 50-50 on either one. You put the aquarium up and then immediately put the beta in the aquarium. Now, uh, this has happened to me before, I've done it. I think every YouTuber out there, every fish tuber out there has done it, has started an aquarium before it was cycled. If you don't know what the cycle is, because it said you're new to this, I'm gonna go ahead and explain to you what the cycle is. The cycle is the natural evolution of your water chemistry. What happens is your ammonia starts to build up. Ammonia comes from anything dissolving in the aquarium, anything natural. It could be old algae that you had on some of the rocks. Once you, once that stuff is all crusty and you, if you have it cleaned and you put it in a tank, once it starts dissolving and rotting away, that's ammonia. Poop, fish food. Um, uh, if you had a, if you had a, a plant and it had. It leaves some dying off and those those things just start rotting that causes ammonia if you had absolutely nothing in the aquarium ammonia is still going to pop up it's natural so what happens is is after the ammonia pops up naturally through the course of natural processes there's a beneficial bacteria that starts eating the ammonia then the byproduct of that is nitrite basically it's poop I, that's the way I, the way I see it the um the um, the byproduct of that beneficial bacteria eating ammonia byproduct, poop. It leaves nitrite. Then, by natural processes, another um, beneficial bacteria pops up and eats that. And it has a byproduct also. It's called nitrate. Nitrate can only be removed by um, plants or regular water changes. But that's you wasn't nowhere near the nitrate issue yet. You're over here at the ammonia issue. You didn't even get to the nitrite issue. What I think that happened is you set up this aquarium and that video that you're watching, Bigger is Better, that video was about um, the bigger the aquarium, the more stable, the more balanced your water is. The smaller the aquarium, the faster these things happen. Think about it. If something drives, if something is going this fast, right? How long is it going to take to get from one end to the other on a huge big tank? It's going to take a long time. Now, if something's going this fast, how long do you think it's going to take to get in the tank this big? It's going to be overnight. It's going to, it's going to be a lot faster. So that's why bigger is better. It, things happen a lot slower. Smaller tanks, things happen a lot faster. Same, same outcome. Just it, it gives you, it gives you room. There's things you can buy um, and things you can do to speed up the process or even nullify the process a couple i've personally i've used fritz 7 one time and it worked i put in fish immediately and they lived um you can take that old bowl that you had with the gravel and the, you could have put that in the aquarium in the brand new aquarium because that has already that ba beneficial bacteria to eat up that ammonia and get your cycle going you could have done doses but a brand spanking new aquarium with absolutely no beneficial bacteria um there's nothing to fight any ammonia that could have been what happened Oh, by the way, if you don't have a test kit to see where this, you can buy a test kit. You can use the strips. You want ammonia, nitrite, nitrate. Those are the three things you need. A lot of times you're going to have extra uh, other stuff you're not going to really need. But, um, or a, 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 a solution, any kind of test for ammonia, nitrite, nitrate. Um, then you can see the progression of how your stuff goes. Um, sometimes fish um, pet stores will do it for free depending on where you live. All right. Then there's always number three. I don't know how old this, this beta was. I don't know the condition. Sometimes fish just die of stress. It happens to me. It's gonna continue to happen to me. I've, 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 I've had fish that lasted a very, very long time and I could just put them in any situation. That's kind of why I stick with cichlids. I don't have to deal with that. But um, because they're, they're a little bit more stronger, but with sm smaller fish, sometimes they just don't handle change very well. All right. But in your particular case, that oily substance might have been some type of contaminant. Um, that's why you just want to use regular water. Don't use no soap. You might think you're doing yourself a favor and being thorough with the soap, but um, I don't know if you did use soap. You cleaned it out, you soap. But that oily residue, um, that will happen when people use soap. And if I ever use it, look, I've cleaned out tanks with soap before. I have, I'd be lying to you if I said it did. But I rinse it out like three, four, 17 times to make sure there's no soap in there. So that's what I believe your issue is, Mary. Um, and and I, I, I want to say, uh, you know, oh my God, I can't, I'm so sad this happened to you. But I'm kind of not sad this happened to you, Mary. And I'm going to tell you why. 
because this is going to make you a better fish keeper. One of the best ways to learn is to actually go through it. And unfortunately, um, you, me, and a bunch of other people had to go through it the same exact way. You're in the fish keeping community now, Mary. This is how we all started out, every one of us. So don't feel bad. Don't be scared. Just go ahead. Get yourself a test kit. Clean out that aquarium very, very good with water. Couple times. I don't know what that film is. So you want to clean out a couple times. Probably set it up. Run it for about two weeks. See what's happening. Give it your, do the little test. If you want to get yourself some of those, um, some of those um, instant cycle stuff like the Fritz 7, go ahead and throw that in there and you're going to be good. Just follow the instructions. You're going to be good. You know what I'm impressed on, Mary? I'm impressed with this right here. I'm impressed with how thorough your explanation. I used to work at a pet store. Trust and believe. I used to get some really crappy um, diagnostics on what happened. This is really good. This is really good. Um, and the fact that you are so observant and, and felt that you had to put down all this stuff um, lets me know that you're serious. So please, this hobby cannot um, afford to get rid of serious people. So please, please take what I say into consideration. Give it another shot. Watch the tank out. Get yourself a test kit. Learn more about the nitrogen cycle in the aquarium. And you're going to be good. You're going to be good. Glad to know you, Mary. Mary Mo, Eminem. Woohoo! I love doing this video. In fact, I was beating my head against the wall trying to figure out, I need to put out a video. I don't know what to do. What to think, what to think. Um, well, uh, a subscriber um, came to me with an issue and um, if you have an issue that you would like for me to go over and possibly give my opinion or some pointers on how to fix this issue, you please just leave it in the comments. It doesn't matter if it's fish tank really. I don't care what it is. If you got a flat tie on your huffy, we're gonna talk. <laughs> we're not gonna talk about your huffy. But if you have a fish tank, um, and you have a question, please leave it in the comments. And if this video produced any type of value to you whatsoever, um, and you haven't subscribed, then please do so with the notification bell, um, and leave a comment, um, and like, give a, big give, give a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. This channel um, lives and dies by your thumbs up and your subscriptions. So um, here's some other videos that might, might have some type of value for you also. So 